the extrapolation of ideas. <laughs> so, in here, let's go to Shadowbox. What was our main problem with Shadowbox? Well, it produced a mesh so high I couldn't use it in any other program. Okay, well, let's. I'm just going to quickly make a shape. Oops. Oh, sure, that was not too bad, actually. Let's produce one of those. And incidentally, if you turn on uh, Transform Activate Symmetry, and then start drawing. You can start producing these these parts with a, a little bit more symmetrical appeal to them. In the X and you know, just like that. So what we're going to do is kind of chop away at this a little bit using that tool, Control and Alt. And we're just going to produce something that would be hard to produce in ZBrush. Alright, good enough. So we got this shape. Let's go into Shadow Box. Turn Shadow Box off. And then look at the mesh it's really high and there's no way to reduce it down okay or is there okay let's remesh it turn off this we will use 24 as the count remesh it we'll project all it and you can see I gotta go to the other one. There we go. Project all. Yes. Good. Uh, let's geometry divide it. Let's take and polish it. Let's project all it again. Okay. So repeat, repeat, wash, and rinse. <laughs> Divide it. Polish it. Project all. And now we have this. So let's hide that. We have this part. And we can go all the way down in levels. Du -du -du and it has somewhat good form okay a lot better than what it did before and it still maintains the high very cool now if it only could reconstruct subdivide that would be amazing but it won't be able to because of the polygon structure right here uh, prevents that from subdividing well and you can see some of this other stuff also. But that's how you can use Shadow Box to produce parts and still have them usable there in Maya. Alright, enjoy. On to the next video.